this is Mike Lingle from Rocket Pro Forma, and today we're going to cost, talk about uh, COGS, cost of goods sold, uh, also called cost of sales, for transactions and subscriptions. So um, these are two virtual business models, so they don't have physical cost of goods sold, but they do have virtual cost of sales. And in this case, those cost of sales, strangely, are not the cost of creating the software uh, or the applications. They are the, the cost of the hosting, the web services or cloud services, Google Cloud, Amazon Web Services. They might also be licenses for third-party IP, and then your customer support and onboarding. So in this case, uh, the hosting is here. This might be your website hosting. The web services, cloud services are here. So you can do a monthly rate and then a growth rate per month. The licenses for third-party IP are here, year one, year two, year three. Um, and then you can also do one-time app purchases per support rep. So every time you bring a support rep on in your hiring plan, uh, you will actually see in the hiring plan, customer support here uh, is listed as COGS. So every time you hire a customer support person, there will be a one-time purchase. And then every time, uh, every month that you employ a customer support person, you will also uh, pay this for software. So this is a way to kind of realistically model uh, your virtual cost of sales, cost of goods sold. And then you can also add uh, for both transactions and subscriptions, you can add uh, an extra cost of sales. And this might be, um, you know, again, we have this licenses for third party IP, but if you embedded someone else's app inside your app, this might be the monthly fee that you pay them. So, you know, maybe you pay five bucks a month to you to bundle some service inside your service. And so um, right now I only have tier one and tier three transactions active. Uh, and you will see that subscriptions is inactive. I would have to go up to the assumptions tab here, turn on subscriptions, and actually let me turn on all three business models, uh, just so I have all the, all the options available. Uh, I can use the navigation menu to jump back to COGS, and you will now see that subscriptions are on, and I could add, uh, you know, if I was bundling someone else's service into my subscription, I could add that monthly fee here as well. There's not an option to add an annual fee, uh, but if you're doing monthly, you could just kind of average it out uh, over the course of those months. So that's how you do virtuals. Jump down to the section below and we will do COGS for physical business models.